What's up, folks? We're back for a little bit of a special stream because it's a Saturday stream. Saturdays are going to be my keyboard days. And then, like, two other times I'll probably ever do keyboard stuff. Whatever. Uh, so, this week, this time, we are doing a loop stream of JWK slash Durox Silent Linears, otherwise known as Silent Alpacas. They've got these little pink stems, gray housing, standard switch. They're a tiny bit grainy. Grainy is their silence, but not nearly as bad as the Boba Linears that I was messing around with, which were also silence. But those are prototype stems, so the final batch should be a lot better. The reason I'm doing these is because I got in just on Wednesday. Oh, this guy. And uh, this guy is the SP111 Southpaw Split Keyboard. That's right. Number pad is over on that side. Hella nice. Uh, ordered that December 5th, 2019. It's 2020 now. So gonna be building that just as soon as I get the bones huh just really something is not showing up on let's see doc hmm oh well, whatever All right whatever <laughs> Something weird was going on with OBS, I think, because I rebooted it. I'll probably, or updated it, I'll probably need to do it, but yeah. So I've already got the uh, springs going for this build, pre-lubed them, just kind of shaking them around to try and get the Crytox, uh, whatever oil I bought gone. But yeah, so we got some music. We got 120 odd switches to uh, do. And I'm going to switch over to the desk cam so that you all can see what's going on. And yeah, so we're just going to, you know, hopefully enjoy a little bit of tunes and just hang out because I got a big stack of stuff here, films, the springs, some various stuff, and uh, going to be putting them as to where to hold them. We have got a lovely custom cut carbon fiber plate for the uh, SP111, which as you can see, does not have options for the switches and stuff go because I pre-designed the layout and they put that together. So um, yeah, so I'm just gonna be installing the switches basically into these cause I'll be doing hot swap uh figure it's a better option than the little tray things because i i got i got this right here so might as well right so really the first thing the most tedious of the things i don't know if it's most tedious but it's sure tedious oh yeah and uh this guy came from me apparently yeah it came from me it didn't come from me it came from me as in me sucks my sucks i don't i don't know how to pronounce his name actually on the fish cord which is where i hang out quite a bit uh apparently the last stream was so abysmally painful that uh he sent me <laughs> a switch lubing station because he didn't want to see me lubing things one at a time ever again which uh that's that's justified I can't can't complain about this. Uh, the switch opener, I have no idea. Right, I don't need these springs anymore. Uh, these are heavier springs, which I would actually Let's see which direction does this go. Am I an idiot? Yeah, but that's we knew that. Um, I guess you just are you supposed to loop the tops or anything? Hmm. Who, who knows? Whatever. I should really do a thing 
but I'm kind of an idiot. I kind of forgot to send this to um the fish guard guys. Derba derba derba. Uh yeah, you'd, th you'd think after like two months of this, I'd at least kind of know what I was doing, but no. I, I'm just like, nee, 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 nee. So, yeah, I are the specials. Yay, one switch down in eight minutes. Yep, this is this is going to be uh, fast and easy. Hey, Louie. Wait, where did I put this? Oh, the springs are over there. Okay. I guess I don't need this oil around anymore because I've already done the thing. Oops. As I just immediately start to drop stuff. Yeah, I don't know. So we've got some EDM stuff going from Stream Beats by Harris Heller. Uh, apparently I didn't add a separator in there. Hmm. Also that... Hmm, whatever. That's kind of not how it looked on... Oh, uh, that's because it's the name of the song or something. Hmm. Alright. Uh, this is Stream Beats by Harris Heller, as I was saying. It is a royalty free it's not copyright free but it's copyright unlocked something like that or free it's free to use not uploaded to any of the dmca site stuff i have been playing a whole bunch of master boot record stuff for the last two months and I'll be continuing to play that tomorrow, but I needed a little bit of a brain break from it because I've been listening to the same music three times a week for the last two months, and that's painful. So. Yeah, we're just kind of doing the thing. I, uh, I was going to kind of advertise this over in the TKC Discord because it's related to the SP-111, but apparently there's no live stream things allowed, which is kind of weird, but, you know, what, whatever. It's, uh, it is what it is, I suppose, so, um, yeah, so we're just gonna hang out and have a, have a bit of a time. So what have people been up to lately? And, uh, this, I've been working on, uh, launch. Minecraft server yesterday. <laughs> suffering. You've been up to suffering. Well, that's, that's fair. Yeah. So I relaunched, as I was starting to say, relaunched my old Minecraft server yesterday, which uh, has been down for five years. And emailed 48 people. Because I, on the whitelist application, have an email box, which is required. Um, in the odd chance that something happens and I need to contact people. I literally use it once a decade, as indicated. Uh, so I emailed the 48 people at like 2 a.m. Uh, yesterday. Received four bounce backs and literally nothing else. There's been no replies, nobody's joined, whatever. I've got other people that are interested, so it's just going to be a new crew playing. Uh, I'm really excited for how the server works. We've already had some stuff hilariously broken and had to update some plugins because it is the beta for... I don't need this over here either. Uh, it's, it's a beta. It's a, it's a closed beta, so... Basically, I'm not publishing it anywhere yet, and it's still on whitelist only because uh, there's a lot of things that, if it ain't broken, is it really beta? That is indeed the truth. Yeah, there's a lot of things just still 
busted. Not even really busted. Maybe I'd say not quite configured, although, uh... Bugman logged in the server and went, hey, I can't eat. Yes, that was intentional. I fixed that, ranked him up. And then apparently while he had been invincible, uh, he booked it to the top of the battle towers, checked out what all of the loot were was in the towers. Is it were or is it was? Anyway, he investigated what all of the loot in the towers in the various chests and figured out which tower to attack and then as soon as he was no longer invincible he climbed the outside why am i having this much of a problem oh my god there we go he climbed the outside of the tower and attacked it from the top down blowing away the floors so that things couldn't spawn because it was light and getting all of the loot. I don't even know how to fix that one. I I think maybe what I will do is... Uh, I'm going to turn off invincibility, I guess, for traveling players, which means don't die. I suppose letting them be invincible is a little bit much. I might... Just see if I can make them invincible inside of the, uh, the city. But that was whoopsie. Just, just ever so slightly. But he already has a bunch of diamond and iron now. I just watched the achievements page. Just, nee -nee 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 -nee. just massive scrolling. So, whatever. I did not open that one sufficiently. I am so glad I have a switch opener because this would be absolutely terrible without one. Using a little, like, two screwdrivers to pry apart every little... All of the four little notches. Ugh. Yeah, so we are lubing the switches with Crytox 2.5G0. And uh, some Desky's switch gaskets. I'm holding them up, but I can be just holding them here because I'm forgetting that I have two cameras. When I turned on these cameras, uh, this guy, Mer it was just showing no signal, and it turns out I'd adjusted my computer just enough that the HDMI cord plugged into the capture cord under my desk had, like, wiggled out by, like, three sixteenths of an inch, like two mils, and proceeded to just not work. Durr. But it was one of those things that, you know, and if you're looking for it, it's hard to see because an HDMI just being out by a smidge is... Not a lot. Yeah, you know, I haven't actually uh, really had quotes to the title. Wonderful. Uh, I haven't really listened to uh, any of the EDM soundtrack that he put out before, and this is this is a nice set of tunes. I might I might have to switch it up a little bit more than just just playing Master Boot Record because he's also got a set of. Uh, Synthwave and lo-fi. He has some other stuff too, but none of it that I remotely care about. I have failed miserably. There we go. I feel like I'm supposed to lube the tops, but the lube deck doesn't have a location for top lubing, so... I don't know. Guess not. Oh. Hey, thank you for the follow, Kool-Aid Papa. Please tell me if that did not play audio through, because I just revamped all of my alerts so that they show up for the different services, and uh, I have no idea if the audio is actually playing through. Because the first time I did that, it did not. Yay! 
But I, I tried to thumbs up and failed miserably with this. <laughs> Holding a switch and just fails. All right, whatever. Ugh. I wish I had bought heavier springs for these switches. Uh, apparently TX is actually having like a sale right now and I discovered this yesterday and had I not been doing this today I would have bought heavier because I have the 60 grams on this keyboard as well which is just regular uh regular Durox with um Inver Umwhip stems and it is very nice to type on but it's just a little bit too light so mm, mild disappointment on the fact that i had gone lighter i would have preferred to keep the 67 grams but tx springs are just so nice compared to the stock durox so eh. although linear uh silent linears tend to be a little bit heavier i feel like they're just silence in general because they have just that tiny bit more friction so maybe it'll feel a little bit heavier more like 67s because with the uh with the boba u4 silent linears i think are the ones i have i i would grab them but i accidentally had the bag of stems drop uh behind the thing that's currently purple over there just shoop so whoops how many switch are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. So I only have to do this fill and lube this four times. That's terrible, but whatever. At least I'm breaking it up. The last stream I did uh, was was the the last keyboard stream I did the full lubing and the assembly of the keyboard and it was a eight hour long stream i was not able to talk properly by the end of it because my throat was absolutely cooked so uh, hopefully breaking this up into a lube stream and then a build stream will be a little bit better because uh For some reason, my throat already feels like it's cooked, and I've only been at this like 40 minutes, not even 20 minutes. I've only been at this 20 minutes. Hmm. Probably just means I need to drink water, which I will do just as soon as I finish these last three switches. It is definitely handy to have this stream deck, so uh, I don't think me is watching, but if he is thank you very much well thank you very much either way take a shot instantly baked so the build I will be going for is using Milmax uh... whatever ID these are the longer silver ones, the, the out three out fives? Yeah. Because um, this board is pretty fancy and I know the sound profile is improved when you solder as opposed to hot swap just because it's more rigid connection. But on the other hand, since I'm going silent, I'm not sure how important that is going to be. All right, hydro break. Drink water, folks. It's important. It keeps you alive. All right. What? What are people? Okay. People be the stupids. Let's see. So I've got this stuff lubed up now, except for that last little spring over in the corner, because the SP one eleven has well oh, really I, can, can we man what 
What about the drink cover? There we go. Wait, am I getting it? There we go. Good God. That was an adventure and frustration. So yes, the SP-111 is, as its namesake implies, a 111 key keyboard. And most everything comes in sets of 110 because because what are extras, apparently? Like, I know. This time I'm being a little bit smart and I'm just gooshing a chunk of this onto like an actual tray. Cause last time I was just like, I'll try using like aluminum foil or something. So I got this little guy, just a standard thing. Thankfully, cause I can just pick this up. So I think yeah, if I recall, I'm doing the, sorry, the insides of here and the, uh, I think just edges or maybe outsides. Maybe I'm not doing the edges, just the outsides of these. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, that's how this works. Completely forgot to turn off TeamSpeak. Eh, whatever. Not like any of y'all can hear it, so it does not matter in this... Wow, that was an extent... Why is there hair in here already? What? Just light brush of lube? Maybe, maybe I should go down so it's not trying to pull them out of this. Yeah, so it's just supposed to be a really light brushing of lube. I think I already did that one. Yeah, because it's really not a lot that you need. You're just lightly reducing the friction. Removing the stiction. Of these switches. They are lightly factory lubed. What one was I on? Oh god. That one. Okay. That is one downside to doing a large set like this. Is... I don't remember where I stop when I do. I'm actually just going to properly... Imbibe? Imbue? If lube was ions, you could ion vapor deposition apply it. I did read Absolute Heresy, I think it was yesterday, maybe the day before, that someone bag-lubed their stems. Like, that's just terrifying. This is going to be a lot faster, not even going to be, is already a ton faster than uh, doing it one by one. I mean, shocker, right? But just a light atomic dusting of lube. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, yeah I'm not. At least the switches are held in really, really nicely. So I feel like I'm going to need another, uh, another brush before this is over. Which means I'll have to run down to the shop and do the acquisition of said brush. Thankfully, the shop's just in the basement, but, um... Yeah, still gonna be necessary. Also, I feel like I'm dunking this brush way more than needs to be. Massively parallel. I mean, in theory... I keep wanting to hold this over here, which... You know what? I have an idea. Oops. That was the wrong button. There we go. Yep, pretty much. Basically because I'm lefty and I hold things in my right hand, when I'm doing something, I'll end up putting it over here. 
Hey, look, you can see the light. Yay. Uh, because this side of the screen, much less important. So, yeah. Shoop. And actually, that's probably a good thing because it'll keep me from wanting to look at myself in the camera because now it's far enough away that I have to, like... So, yeah. That is good things. Um, I could, in theory, like, 3D print a thing that matched all of these that I could dip six brushes in and just do that. That'd be hilariously massively parallel. Oh, that was so much lube. Oh. Oh, no. I'd kind of prefer it if the lube was, like, colored or something. That I could really see which one I had lube. But it's not. flavored lube uh somehow i don't think that it'd stick very well to the plastic that one does not look very lubed yeah i feel like flavored lube would be a interesting and sad time this music's pretty good I'm definitely digging it. I think I just did that one, but oh well, it gets double lubed. Eh. All right, that is half done. Hey, Evie. Uh, because you always come on the fun parts. <laughs> oh, that was not quite what I meant. Wow, that is very hard to read on my text. The Save and Minx thing is this super deep red that is really painful to read on the background of the multi-streamer chat that I have set up. That one's lubed. Well, this is not black so edgy that you cut your eyeballs. Uh, this is so edgy that black only wishes it could be that edgy. It, uh, the color. Oh, here, I will send a screenshot of that. So I'm not dying. Is that is good that you're not dying? Here, I'll send a screenshot of that down in the Guru Gaming channel under random pictures, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, I'll send that under random pictures. Look at how hard anybody in, in the Guru Gaming Discord, look at how much of a pain that is to read. That is not nice text. I think it's showing me that he's an admin or mod or whatever, but, uh, ouch. Also, what do you guys think? Do you like the text scrolling down from the top that I have it in the chat box visible now, or do you think scrolling bottom to top is better? I was kind of partial to top down, but, um, I'm not the one reading it, so... I wish I could do top down on the chat application I'm reading from because as it goes down, I'm going to have to keep looking further down. Whereas uh, I'm going to see if they can update the app because if it could do at the top, I could be reading while looking here, which basically looks like I'm looking at the camera. But if the chat finishes all the way down here, I'm definitely not looking at the camera. It's like, why don't they have teleprompter mode or something? It's a little bit confusing at worst. Uh, 
A little bit confusing at first, but I like it. Nice. I am glad to hear that. Yeah, I I find top-down scrolling most recent at the beginning kind of nice for some things. I don't know. Did I loop that one? I, I can't tell. I think so, yeah. It like very ever so slightly makes these a little bit cloudy. All right, so that's this whole row done. So I'm about not quite three quarters of the way done because I guess people toss a little bit of lube on the edge of each of these the stem points in the center. At least that's quick and easy to do. And I have plenty of this Crytox stuff because as much as some people insist that it is expensive and rare, it's really not. You're just getting overcharged by hobbyist groups that do the keyboard stuff because you can just buy industrial quantities for like you can buy 10 times as much for only double the price what am i working on i am building a i'm lubing the switches for a mikakon carrier is expensive and nothing yeah uh, oh wow all of those just fell out uh immediately what the hell So what I am working on, Evie, is uh, getting switches ready to go in these carbon fiber plates, which are the replacement for the brass plates in, oof, um, let's see, get this open, but I can bring it up and show it to camera nicely. It is the replacement for the brass plates for this beautiful keyboard. This is a Southpaw split keyboard. I can't hold it up for very long because it weighs almost nine pounds. It is ridiculously heavy. Uh, USB-C interconnect Southpaw. So I've got numpad over here. The brass plates are nice looking, but brass has a bit more of a, a metallic ping to it, obviously. So replacing it with these guys which as you can tell looking at the difference between these two, uh, specifically down at the bottom, these have locked in placements for switches. So I have a set uh, layout that I will be using. Also the guys over here, uh, far more just complete locked in. So that's gonna be really nice because it supports all of the switches equally. And this is hopefully being built next week depends on how long it takes for the uh one of these that is on its way to stupid fish designs to actually get to him him to prototype them and then for it to be sent back or not sent well sent back to the other guy but for then me to buy the foam and like attempt to figure out how to teleport it here because i want i ordered it december 5th 2019 it's been just a little while. Just a bit. Uh, so, very excited to have this finally in hand. It showed up on Wednesday. And just so, so psyched. And so ready to... Uh, that was way too much sleep. So ready to build it, which I will be doing on stream. So hopefully next Saturday. And um, because the last build stream I did took eight hours, uh, I am lubing the switches on a separate stream this time, which also seems like it's going a whole hell of a lot faster because I have almost 30 switches done in like half an hour. So hopefully it'll be more like a two and a half hour to three hour stream rather than Four hours, which is how long it took me to lube these switches last time. Uh, 
All right, so that batch of 30 is done-ish. Although, I feel like... I don't know, I guess... No, I feel like I should be lubing the inner rails of these guys, too. Like, they have... Let's see, can I, uh... Is it... Yeah, it does focus. So you can see there's... These two little... Yeah, there we go. There's a set of rails inside of here that the stems go on, so I'm like... That should probably be lubed, or should I... Well, I suppose instead of directly lubing those individually, I'll just lube the front and back of each stem. Yeah, that'll probably work. So you can see these stems are pink and they have little black uh, speckles on the edges that are the rubber bumpers, which are what silences it. So instead of the more uh, talkish sound, you get a, a much more muted and, in my opinion, pleasant sound. Silence switches are not for everyone, but since I do the streaming and the podcasting, which, uh, yes, Saban and Louie, we will be recording tonight. Once this is done, sometime after that, I've still got to look up my stuff. Uh, because I really hate recording on Mondays, honestly. When we, when we have to, we have to, but yeesh. Uh... But due to podcasting and all that fun stuff, uh, I like my equipment to be quiet. So, silent switches. And these are the silent linears. I kind of want to pick up a good set of silent pack dials as well and see how those feel, which is the reason I'm doing the hot swap so that I can switch out my stuff I only bought one pair of PCBs. So... Yeah, this keyboard didn't actually come with PCBs when you order it. You have... You had to order those as well, I think. Or no, those were extras. It does come with PCBs, right. But you could order extras, because some people are making custom cases. Wow, that was uh, a disgustingly extensive amount of lube. Okay, that... I'm just going to be using that... That switch for a little bit of, uh, extra goosh. All right. Those 30 switches are lubed. Yee. So then we've got... The Deskies Gasket Films, which are these lovely little meh. And they sit, where the hell are they? Right on there. Okay. Guess we're, we're just, come on. Oh, no, you're supposed to. Pop out. Pop that. Pop that. I could have gotten any color, but I wanted black because I figured it went well with the uh, less than a third of the way there. Indeed. I'm actually less than a quarter of the way there. But it's a hell of a lot faster than the last time. That is a line from the first of the Nolan Batmans, correct? I think it is. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure I heard it in... Or no, the Batman line is just does it come in black, right? Uh, I am definitely excited to get the SP-111 built. I have some nice stabs for it. I picked up the C3 stabs like eight months ago or something. Those are, of course, in black as well. Any customer can have a car paint in any color they want so long as it's black. So, okay. Close enough. I feel like in terms of cars that look like they're the cleanest, longest, you would want a dark gray. Because black shows road salt way too easily. I've just realized that seeing as I'm flipping these over each and every time I pull one out, maybe I should rotate the entire package. Hey, wow, look at... And I screwed it up. I believe that's called being hoisted by your own petard. Gray cars? Yeah. I'd rock a battleship gray car. The one downside that I'm seeing with black on black is, um... I'm having a hard time being sure that I'm putting these on the right switch and I'm not skipping one. <laughs> Just go it, get it in green zone. Oh God. I actually generally hate green zone wrap stuff, honestly. Like it's, it's really, uh... I don't know why, I love the camo pattern. It's such a fantastic pattern, but... Also, sorry, is my head... Okay, my head's not really blocking stuff when I do this, good. Yes, you can stare at my wonderful hair that has enough Aquanet in it to catch a fish. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I love the pattern green zone, but it just doesn't look good on anything that isn't, like, camo or equipment, in my opinion. So, one of our, one of the guys, Funbot, uh, came up with some, I think it was Funbox. I hope it was Funbox, because I'm attributing this to you. Using these little semi-rubbery pieces as uh, stab silencers. Really grand idea, honestly. This song slaps. Like, straight up. This song is less slappish. More trappish than slappish. It's funny, and now that I have this thing, I didn't even use this last time, but I've got this lovely stem grabber. It's actually like a mechanical drafting pencil thing, but it's the perfect size to grab... Meh. Stems! 
and you can hold them and like lube them or I can just use the lube deck I didn't use that before I had the lube deck and I'm certainly not using it now so um we oui. oh no oh stop that what are you doing no man no Jesus there we go So, how was everybody's holiday season? I got a headlamp yesterday, which is nice because I needed one after I loaned out my really nice one to somebody at a game like three or four years ago and never got it back. Hey, I got one now, which is good because, uh, like, yo, it's dark as shit outside. I feel like I should have all of this raised up by like a box height so that when I'm looking at stuff I can be looking down as opposed to down. Just a light down. Because I am definitely like, mer, it's not even. On the one hand, I'm tempted. On the other hand, I'm lazy. Maybe I'll do it for the next stream. Maybe not. All right, that is the stems. It's time to do the springs. Or not the stems, that was the films. Eh. Release! Release him, you fool! Mm. Oh, stop that. Oh my god. Well, I can tell that I've oiled them properly, because I can't get a grip on the damn things. Oh no. Oh god, why? Ah! Uh, use the force, Luke. I think I'm using too much force. that spring back in and oil drop that spring so that I have the 111 spring ready to go hey uh, I feel like I need some sort of magnetic puller that I can remove the magnet far enough away to detach the spring from so that I can just yoink the spring, but I feel like I would end up pulling out like seven springs at once somehow. So this is going a lot better now that I have a little bit of the thinner wall section that I can go in more vertically with it. So much nicer. You stay put. Don't go hoisting me by my own petard, you stupid films. You're not even sentient. You don't get to give me competence. Something like that. I don't know what I'm saying.
All right, well, I'll almost have 30 switches assembled rather shortly, which is nice. That'll be a quarter of the way done. A little bit more than a quarter, actually, because I'm not bothering to do the extra nine switches. Ugh. Always buy extras for your projects, folks. Didn't feel like buying 19 extra, but certainly going to buy nine extra. I feel like these tweezers would be much more useful if they were lightly rubber coated on the tips. Maybe I should plasti dip them. This says something in there. It says stainless steel in there. I don't know why I'm surprised. I would have made it say something like, ha, made you look. But that's just me, so whatever. Ooh. Trying to put these in straight with their, well, a little bit wonk. They were just faintly hidden by the chat box. So alongside doing the restreaming stuff with Restream.io, which is a wonderful piece of software from what I've seen so far. Uh, is it software or? Hmm. Ooh, that might be something I need to check. General. Oh man, people are showing up on the di on the Minecraft server. Uh, that is being hidden by whoops. <laughs> I think somebody just followed, and I think I have made a dumb and need to move these over here now. Uh, whoever just followed. <laughs> Sorry, I had the. I had the thing hidden behind the stuff because I'm a dumb. Um, yeah, sorry. People just showed up to the Minecraft server joining the Discord, and I am super happy. It was two people. And um, Saban, can you let them know that the reason I'm not responding fully is because I'm in the middle of building a keyboard? Please. <laughs> Oh my god, somebody said, I don't mean to sound like a huge nerd, but Gamma Craft was such a big part of my childhood and that email literally made my whole year. Oh my god, that makes me so happy. <laughs> oh. Alright, let's see. I think it's this direction. I hope it's this direction. Aha! The click. Oh! Thank you! <laughs> I, I don't even know how you figured out, because I didn't link that channel anywhere, but uh... <laughs> Thank you, Minty. Uh, why is this not working? What the, what the bejesus? Just, just, what? Did I, there we go. Ooh, oh, those are nice. Ooh, those are really nice. Wow. I like, I like a lot.
I mean, I'm glad I like it because I'm putting in way too much time into this otherwise. Oh, those feel so nice. Saban's gonna wander over here after this, and he's gonna be like, I demand to feel the things. Hmm, that one feels really mushy for some reason. What, what, what is, what is the issue here? There's something... Oh, God, that's the issue. The issue is critical error. <laughs> Wow. Um, yeah, so things that are massively screwed up on that one. I'm not even using that. Uh, actually, it'll be fine. No, no, I'm just... Mission scrubbed. We're just gonna go with a nice new one of these that isn't, like, colossally screwed up. Because that was a Mr. Magical layer of oh god. Oh yeah, that's much better. That is so much, so much better. <laughs> I am so glad that a few people actually showed up to the server because I've been missing that server for so long and. Now that I have the internet connection and the hardware, thanks to a dedicated server in-house, because I have a business-grade connection, full gigabit fiber to the house, uh, Sabin and Louie and Coffius and I pooled our money and bought a absolutely ridiculous server, which is sitting in the basement. And uh, that's what GammaCraft is hosted on. And I am just failing miserably here, oh my lord. Wow, that was... That was just bad, honestly. Come on. There we go. Uh, yeah, so got that server and people showed up. And they're happy to be back, and I'm happy they're back, and that is a nice round out to 2020 for me. Uh, oh god, no, not again. How does this keep happening? I just keep, like, messing these switches up. And then they really, really do not like to go on when they're that messed up. Oh, stop that, please. Why you gotta be like this? Oh, God. Yeeps. That was really messed up, actually. I managed to rotate the bumper so that it was jammed. Or maybe it had been pre-rotated and that's why it jammed. Much better. Good music, good people, and failing miserably at keeping Switch films in place! Re!
Maybe I should be... Oh, my back. Posture check. Oh, God. Maybe I should be, like, holding this up, kind of? No. I should not be holding this up because I just yeeted one of the stems into non-existence. And by non-existence, I mean my lap. But hey, at least it's nice when you get immediate feedback that your idea was bad and something's wrong with the switch too. Damn it. It's interesting how much just a minor, minor little issue can massively change the feel of a switch. Just the neat, tiniest tweak. It'll go from absolutely jammed to working wonderfully. These, there's no grain in these now. They feel so nice. Are they even making sound? <laughs> no, no, they're not. How wonderful. Oop. No, I see it fail again. I didn't even have to try that one to no. The funny thing is it feels no, no, it does not feel fine. Wow. I would kind of like it if these had a little bit of adhesive on them, honestly. Just a light amount so they stuck to the correct place on it. Not like, not like sticky sticky, but like, uh, Thank you for stopping by. Uh, next stream is tomorrow. Saban and I are playing Halo. I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, playing a whole bunch of different games. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you on Minecraft too. So excited. This music really does slap. I'm going to have to switch up the playlist a little bit more often. And yes, I hate myself for saying music slaps. Why is this? Oh, that's why it's rotating. Cause, oh, sir. Because I did the dumbs with locations of the uh, rubber feet. You will fit nicely. Or you will die. I know, I know, the slap statement is so bad.
All right. Time to get these. Blip, 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 blip. Oh, that's incredibly satisfying. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> that was super satisfying. All right, let us start installing switches. Wait, do these? No, they go in right. They actually do go in from the top down. I don't have to. Oh, oh, those sit so nicely. You hear that snap in? Yes. Oh. Oh, that looks so good. I would have preferred it if they weren't pink stems, if they'd been black stems or something, would have been like a little bit more my style or pure white stems like the Inverox that I built at the beginning of November. But you know what? You never see the pink stems anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, come on. Bro, switch, sit, in. Is this one just tiny? I feel like that one just got milled small somehow. Okay, why did the top ones fit really nicely, but the bottom ones just do not go in at all? What? Am I going to have an anger here? Like, the top ones are fitting fine. Wait. Or is it just... Oh my god, I'm actually an idiot. <laughs> oh god, I'm literally just an idiot. Oh, I forgot to check if the switch was fully closed. Oh my god. Somebody alert the special patrol. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, that's going so, so, so smoothly and nicely. Cannot wait to have this built. Of course, then I'm gonna have this full set of Inverox sitting on my Q Frenzy with no keys because I don't actually have another set of uh, keys currently. I only have my PBT Dolch set. I wanna pick up Cam Super User when it goes on Group Buy in a couple months. But that's probably going to take about a year for it to show up, if not a year and a half. So, rip! Whatever, it's not like I will be using my Q Frenzy anyway. Once I have this thing for much, that'll be my uh, kind of travel slash beater board where I'm not particularly concerned. Oh god, this switch is uh, slagged as well. Not particularly concerned with the, uh, what happens to the Q Frenzy, although it does have that wonderful fish foam with the arc potato in it, which I got such a kick out of when I found that on stream, because that was just great. 
but it's still a rather cheap beater board. As Does this not have a film in it? How the hell? What? Whatever. That they have. Um. Yeah, the Q Frenzy was a relatively cheap board in distinct comparison to the SP 111, which was uh, a lot more expensive. I d just. Just a factor of... Uh, God. Like a factor of five or something? Maybe only a factor of four. Might have been a factor of four. Yeah. Um, short version, the board I'm working on now or will be working on. I don't really feel like having that leave the house ever. Also, you can just buy another Q Frenzy. You cannot buy another as well extras will be available but uh not really it is a very extremely limited run and oh my god how many of these how did i not notice how many of these i screwed up also how did that many get that cockeyed that they went off angle like that Just look like an absolute moron. More than normal. Now I'm like doing a full inspection of each one. I'm gonna start breaking out the calipers and magnifiers. So the build stream hopefully next week, if not, almost certainly the week after, unless the postal service is like full stupid with my stuff, which, you know, they could be. Uh, that will be me soldering on the hot swap sockets and putting in the foam, putting in the stabilizers, lubing those suckers up. And, uh, getting this thing ready to go. Oh my god, this is just abject misery. Like, did I kick too many puppies in a prior life or something to be- No, this wouldn't be kicking puppies worth punishment. This would be- What punishment would, like, many of your- Switch films just being wrong be like what would you have have to have done for that mild annoyance inconvenience something certainly All right, first batch of 30 installed, and it feels nice.
it doesn't come with LEDs. Like, the, your caps lock, num lock, etc. LED goes, uh, This is like see see those mip 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 and the holes there yeah for LEDs which it doesn't come with that's honestly really incredibly annoying. Like, massively annoying, actually. It doesn't even specify which LED is which, so I can't, like, color code it. Um, I... I assume they're 5-volt LEDs, so I guess I'll just, uh... <sighs> Christ. Dad was literally just a couple days ago, he's like, Hey, are you making a DigiKey order anytime soon? Because I need to do the thing, and I was like, nah. Surprise! Like, literally, wasn't that yesterday? Saving, weren't you in the house when that happened? I feel like that was literally yesterday. Well, wow, what color LED should I use for my stuff? Because you've got... Or do I even actually need LEDs? I feel like I don't actually use the LEDs. Like, I sh should have... Num lock on by default so that you can use the numpad as numbers. Um, I literally don't use caps lock, and by don't use, I mean I have it hard or software disabled. So that my caps lock key is, in fact, just another shift key because I hate caps lock key. It is not cruise control for cool, no matter what you think. It is caps con it is cruise control for being a sad and disappointing person. At least now I kinda know what I'm doing, and hopefully I'll be able to get the films aligned a little bit better this time. Drink water. <sighs> yeah, no, this is going to be like a four hour stream. Whatever. I'd love if I could actually, the. The bobas I was able to buy pre-disassembled because if I could just be like, here's my bag of stems, here's my bag of housings, then that'd be handy. As opposed to needing to disassemble, which takes a fair amount of time, honestly, as people can attest to watching this. And of course, the spring is stuck well enough that I can't just shake it out.
I'm honestly, I was just rereading that that message from Mint in the Discord and just made me so happy. attempted to place the stem in the housing slot, which, um, no fit, <laughs> bad fit, poor fit. Or is a poor fit just using civilian modules in EVE? My watch keeps doing the haha -ha burrs. As so many discords are just lighting up and doing notifications and uh bzz, bzz, bzz. Yeah. Apparently a package that originated in New Hampshire and was to be delivered to New Hampshire, which is a relatively easy trek, finally made its way back from Little Rock, Arkansas, where UPS saw fit to ship it. Not, not UPS, sorry. UPS is actually doing quite well, where the Postal Service saw fit to ship it. I, I honestly got nothing. Good lord, worst fit. Cha. Rookie ship 1v1 me at the sun, bro. Stock fit. That'd be so disappointing. I'm pretty sure the shields passively rep faster than the civilian guns on those things can deal damage. No, this time the spring just falls out. You need two civilian railguns to break the tank on another. Good God. But can we use civilian mining lasers? The Valator allows for two drones, correct? I feel like it allows for drones. It's been a long time since I both shift just warp away. Yeah. This week on Disappointment at the Sun, two rookies attempt to shoot each other and it fails hilariously. I still remember the first, literal first day I played Eve. Uh, booted up, played with my buddy, uh, Karalik. And... <laughs> Conquered. That's true, yeah. Uh, is literally the first thing got in there. Rookie ships warp to a belt. And there's a couple hulks mining. 
And this is back when Hulk still sounded good while mining. Well, strip lazy in general. So we warp into these belt. There's just this couple ships. They're just mining uh, Tritanium or whatever. Veld's, no, they're mining Veld. Because it was a 1.0 system. And we hit the belt and our speakers just are just the lasers just ripping through and we were like holy crap we want to be in one of those ships because it just looked and sounded so awesome like literally this was before there was a new player experience there wasn't even a tutorial aside from aurora being like this is your gun shoot things now piss off and fly it's like okay <laughs> And, uh... There was a belt rat in there. You know, these are the easiest belt rats. It's a 1.0 system. We didn't know orbit. We didn't know distances. We didn't know transversal, any of that. We're just like, we're gonna shoot it! And we go flying in and lock it and start hammering it with our things and then both immediately blow up because the belt rat was like, really? Really, bro? I'm just like, oh, okay. Guess we'll just die now. And then his parents got home and were like, why are you on the computer? It's one in the morning. And he was like, uh, and he never logged into Eve again. And then I continued playing for like five or six years. Met this nerd, Saban. Now he lives in my treehouse. No, no joke on that one. Straight up lives in my treehouse. It's dope. He's got insulation, power, Wi-Fi. The insulation is... Eh, bagless? He's making heavy use of a heated blanket. Yeah, seriously. We were like, oh yeah, we hung out in a... Uh, PIAC 44. That is the station that we met. And you were in, like, Nolan or whatever? Like, literally one jump next door at the same time we were comparing. And then I, I met Louie through playing Airsoft, and just turns out that we both played Eve, and we were talking about it and realized, yeah, at the same time we were all playing Eve. We're here. Stargate. He's there. Never once... Like, I can guarantee we saw each other. Like, in local, in fact, we probably jumped past each other at a Stargate multiple times, and it's just like, yep, that's just another dumbass Neve. And then, yeah, no, it turns out that... <laughs> now he hangs out at my house. <laughs> Often. It's very interesting how such a large game like, ends up being not, I guess? I need to mute stream chat. Like, uh, on, on my Discord, on the Gru Gaming Discord server, link in the doobly-doo, or you can just click that link, which, there we go. Because dash commands are Dope! Uh, that is the link to the Gru Gaming Discord, which is where Saban and I link our streaming stuff and we hang out. But uh, we have a Discord streaming bridge, well, at least I do, that lets the bot do stuff. That's real descriptive of me. It lets things relay through both so that people on Facebook, etc. Well, not Facebook, on YouTube and Twitch can see stuff in Discord, and Discord can see everything, and the bot mostly relays, but not to Facebook. It only reads from Facebook. But nobody watches on Facebook anyway, so it doesn't matter. What happens when I click that thing? Um... Yeah, I muted it because it kept popping up on my Discord over here.
All right, time to do the lube. And hopefully get this stuff nicely. Because once this is lubed and reassembled, I'll be half done. Which is dope. Because it is a lot... I don't know if it's so much pure faster, but it feels a lot nicer to be able to do 30 switches at a time. I think I just lubed those switches, but they're getting lubed again because there's not really such a thing as too much lube. Like, there is. Kind of. And after this stream concludes, we'll be recording episode five of, I think, of the Bitbiker podcast, where we talk about tech, gaming, weird stuff, and everything in between, and streaming, because, well, a few of us have a vested interest in streaming. Shocker. And, uh, yeah, so we'll be hitting that up. That releases every other Wednesday at whenever the hell I put it out. Generally, it releases in the mornings when we record on Saturday, when we record on our backup day of Monday. It usually comes out in the afternoon or evening Wednesday because it actually takes quite a while to edit. The episodes are only about an hour long, but, uh, you know, between little gaffes of us, like, just forgetting how to speak and needing to start over or just too damn many ums and uhs. Yeah, pretty much we screw up a lot, as Louis says. Or like last week where I just cut out a 10 minute section where uh, Coffee and I um, just spurged about headphones. <laughs> because I was like, this is just boring and terrible and just made the episode way too long. And I can tell that it was a pointless thing because a response Louie made to the end of that, I was able to cut out the whole section of that, and the response was still applicable to what we were saying because apparently we just started repeating ourselves because, wow, we're special. And not the good kind of special. But it's fun to do, and I'm glad to be doing a podcast again. I had done two in the past, and at Saban's suggestion, and I have boring and terrible things this week. Yeah, I, I don't even have anything for this week yet. I'm gonna, like, after streaming, figure out a bite to eat, and while doing the bite to eat, I'm going to be checking my normal sources, four sources. Because what is news if you're not just regurgitating sources from someone else that's done the research, right? But at least I, I'm doing someone that's actually done the research. second batch with lubing we've just got to lube the sides of wow that was way too much lube 
What? Where does this hair keep coming from? It's not even my hair. It's like this wispy, tiny light stuff. No, I wish it was coming from Gato. Because that would mean I would still have my cat. Supposed to, I'm pretty sure he got eaten by coyotes. Because he was deaf and partially blind. Big sad. I like that cat. And her other cat's fine, but she's just fat and lazy. Kinda like me! No, no, I'm not fat, but I do need to work out. I was doing really well for like a month or two. Lost some weight, started looking better. And I got sick. And... You all know how it is with like trying to form habits you uh it's hard to form a habit but incredibly easy to break said habit and get hellaciously sick for like three or four days to the point that you don't want to do anything move feel like throwing up if you move and shocker You, uh... Really quickly got out of the habit, which is bad because the workout was actually doing really good things for me and I'd prefer to not have a heart attack. Ooh, that was a lot of loot. That was a disgusting amount of loot, in fact. Earlier I said there was not really a thing such as too much lube. I lied. Drug is also dopamine or something, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's the dopamine thing, but uh... I mean, it does feel good and I ha have uh... I have audiobooks that I've been... that I'm trying to listen to. To workout with. I have a treadmill in my room. I've got the weight set. I was doing pretty well. And the books are a good listen. It's the Safehold series, which if people haven't checked, don't know what that is, I highly recommend it. It is by David Weber. David Weber? I think it's Weber. Uh, he's the same person who writes the uh, Honorverse series. Uh, Safehold is a book about Feature humanity who got its arse absolutely beat by an alien race called the Gababa and made a world called Safehold, which was set to be a pre technological world so that the Gababa would not find them. And you know, after the Gababa had passed, the technology was supposed to be re implemented so that they would be outside the detection range. Bada bada bada. Uh, short version, The Church. Oh! Wait, you've read the series? Some of it, at least? That is actually really cool, because I haven't met somebody that has actually read the damn series before. Yeah, so, but in short, the most of the money book. Yeah, I have all of the money book. It's a good series to read. But So, in, in short, The Church decided to, well... The egotistical leader of the fleet that escaped decided that uh, he wanted to be a archangel instead and prohibited technology from ever being implemented. So a mind-scraped cyborg, they're called Pika's, uh, Oh, Honor Honor Harrington. Okay, not not Safehold. They're the Honorverse series. Right. 
I do need to. I should read the Honorverse series at some point. Fine. But yeah, so uh, Pikas, which are personality integrated cybernetic avatars. Uh, a, a Pika wakes up like 800 years or something after all of this happens and has to basically go about fixing the planet. <coughs> it's a good read. I quite enjoy it. And have it on audiobook. Narration's pretty good. It's very technical and or dry, depending on how you view it. So... Some people may or may not like that. And I do remember us talking about the, uh, the Dreadnoughts being less dense than hydrogen. Some people just don't understand mass properly, mass and scale. Like... You know, you, you double... If you double the size of something, all things being equal, you've octupled the volume of it, and mass scales like that as well. So... Yeah, uh, big things are... Well, big. Yes, square cube. And as big things are big, um, like, put it this way, the dinosaurs are honestly a bit of a shocker that they were able to do the thing, but also realize just how big the bones of those guys were, because things are so damn massive. And that's really the word you should be understanding here massive they have a shitload of mass to them things will just go crunch under like if you scaled a human up and we're like yeah the average height of a human is now like you know say what, what's the average height of people now five five seven five eight i know like five eight is the average height of a, a guy i think so 11 foot 4 if you doubled the height if you tried to double height of a human and made them 11 4 you would hear this lovely snapping sound as they just kind of crunched under their own weight quite unpleasant way to go really because we are not specced for that much mass like think of you know think how big like a leg bone or whatever is around and like how big a thigh is or something and like the bones are small in people which is also why we kind of crunch a lot when we do stupid things but if we had denser bones and all that stuff uh we would move slower and part of our thing is just being able to go full yeet for way longer than basically any other animal. I still love that we are not attack predators, we're just wear you down predators. Like humans were the creepy stalkers of the animal kingdom from the beginning. Straight up, right? Just like, animal will try and go to sleep. There's just a rustling in the brush. We're here. Oh, God! <laughs> Maybe it wasn't actually Apple. Humans got kicked out of Eden because we were just creeping out all the animals. This time I'll do my best to not straight up forget a film. Oh my god. Stop that. Mer. When do we get cybernetic implants? Uh, hopefully never, honestly.
Like, dude, I don't even trust LASIK. Because all you ever hear about is people having good experiences with LASIK. Because the people that have actually bad experiences basically get silenced when they're like, yeah, I basically can't see now. And LASIK's like, you can't say that. Like, I am going to be dead long before we get to the point technologically where I would trust cybernetic implant. Don't get me wrong. If my arm got cut off due to a freak accident, yes, I'll go with an augmentation because... Well, yeah, because having something is better than nothing. But I'm not going to be like, you know, my arm could just use to be like a metal window puncher. Let's just lop it. No. Yeah, exactly. Shitty is generally better than broken, but... I'll take working OEM over shitty. Yeah, he had to get a coronial implant to fix it. That's not happening. Like, also, yo, I'm broke. Like, don't get me wrong, if there's a thing where it's like a cap that you can put on your head that allows neural interfacing with stuff, but a non-permanent integration. I'll do non-permanent integrations, but... It's not like I'm like a humanist or something that has like a thing against argumentation. I just. Where's that film go? There it is. I just, uh. have no desire to go replacing perfectly functional parts with parts that don't have a good warranty, or good guarantee, sorry. And, uh,. You know, like, if you replace your eyeballs with cybernetics, or, like, they're not even replace them. Like, I won't do anything that is irreversible. How's that? LASIK is irreversible. You fire a laser beam into your eyeballs. Does that sound like a good idea to anybody? Like... Like, I, and I know people who have it that it works fine. And in concept, yeah, it's fine. But you fire a laser into your eyeballs. If the tech was good, proven, and had a failure rate in the one in a millions, maybe. But that's not the failure rate and that's not the tech level we have now. So I kind of agree. I know it will happen at some point, but we are not nearly there. And at this point, it should be reserved exclusively for people who medically, like, at this point, the technology should be for people who need a replacement because of non-function as opposed to because I want it, my precious. And honestly, I think we're probably going to get into neural uplink before we actually get into working 
cybernetics. I'm pretty sure it's going to be easier to map the brain and slap it into... Would that be an AI? If you were able to perfectly map the power state of a brain and put it into a computer and the brain was just like, hey, I'm me, like the, the program of the brain. Is that an AI at that point? I feel like, because AI is artificial intelligence. So would it just be intelligence? Like what's the classification for neural? Like neural and neural clone. Would that be the, the definition? Would instead of an, an AI, it'd be an NC? Infomorph? Okay. I feel like Infomorph is too long. It's not going to catch on properly. Just like nobody says artificial intelligence, they say AI because... I feel like Neural Clone, like NC. Like, oh yeah, I was talking to John's NC. Like, you know, you could... Because nobody... The fact of life is nobody uses long things when an abbreviation works. Yeah, I, I feel like it's going to be quicker to do a full neural scan and replicate an environment than it is to properly link, like integrate the levels of bullshit between brain down to like the nerve connections and the muscular collect connections and powering the limbs. Very, very little sci-fi ever addresses the power of the limbs. Has, has Cyberpunk addressed that any? Because I haven't, I haven't played that, and I feel like that's that's a negative. But you know, again, haven't played, so I don't know. Would that be an emulation layer? Or would it just... No, it wouldn't really be an emulation layer. Uh, or maybe... No, I guess that would be an emulation layer. So I suppose doing a full emulation of the neural network is probably going to be easier than attempting to code a... Uh, API translation basically between flesh to metal you probably just want to go bare metal if you can do it and computers are increasing nope uh, nope to the power on cyberpunk implants yeah yeah it's easier to make a copy than to make meaningful changes then. yeah like I mean, we are making progress. They have artificial eyes that can see in like a 8 by 16 pixel thing or something, which... I mean, I suppose that's better than being blind? I don't know. If I suddenly went blind, I honestly don't know if I would be in favor of, like... I guess? I guess it's better than nothing, but on the other hand, it's not... I suppose it would let you, like, see a doorway or something, kind of. When they get up to, like, 40 by 40 pixel resolution, It'll, that'll be useful enough. I mean, what's, yeah, they don't show anything. Yeah, because that's the thing, like 
in sci-fi, it's always like, oh yes, the implants are just powered by the body. No, they're not. Like, please, we can't... Here, here's how you know we're not getting implants powered by the body. See this watch? You know how I have to charge it, like, every three days? If we can't get a watch to be powered by your body, you're not getting a cybernetic arm that has mantis blades powered by your body. I think there's a watch that claims that it charges from your body. Claims. Yeah, but that's mechanical. That's not, uh... Well, I suppose you could make a self-winding watch that used a tiny generator? But that's still not like... But why to what, Evie? But that new thing in e-ink, it might be... Yeah, like... But watches are still such low power devices. Yeah. Yeah, like, a watch is such a low-power device. I mean, hell, a single-button cell battery on a regular, non-smart watch can last literally, like, five years. A prosthetic? You're not pulling that much power. Yeah, allegedly charges from the body. It's not... It's not a realistic thing. Yeah, no, you can get super low power consumption, but the keyword is kind of, like, I suppose not really the keyword. It's a very specific thing. You know, maybe at some point we'll get, you know, uh, energy harvesting technology sufficient. Because don't get me wrong, I would love a smartwatch, smartwatch that I just didn't have to charge. Like, had a little mechanical system in it, or used my body temperature using a healthier or whatever, uh, like, thermoelectric system. Like, I would love for that to be the case. But I don't think it's going to happen. Damn it, I knew that was wrong. I felt it wrong. I felt it be wrong as I was trying to do it. Oh. Wow, these are really easy to mess up the bumpers on. Bioprocessors that eats glucose. Yeah, there's there's a whole like list of ways that we could do it, but we're nowhere near any of them. And I doubt many of them are still going to be efficient enough to power. Interesting concept of cyberpunk and netrunners in it. The actual bodies of the netrunners heat up so much, in fact, they need external cooling. Huh. But why are their bodies heating up that much? Because I would, uh, I don't know. It's... I think implants are always going to require to be charged. Uh, or not implants, prosthetics. Okay, apparently I missed a switch.
We have passive implant. Yeah. I mean, there's a chance some implant may not require it. Like, you know, at some point, a very low power smartwatch of sort, like, tattoo embedded in your arm. Maybe. I mean, we do have electrical impulses in the body that can be harnessed in the god damn in theory uh so far we've had zero practical applications of that so kind of doubt but oh god okay i smoked something not bad What did I do? I did bad things to this film. That's what I did. Please work. Please do the, do the, do the function. Ew. There we go. Hmm. So it's the Netrunners themselves, like, so it's basically their whole body heats up because they have that much hardware in their body. Somebody said that just going fast with these last stream tends to give them less of an opportunity to smeg up, so we'll try that. I feel like, if anything, transhumanism is going to end up still in the original bodies, but with a neural link into full dive VR similar to the Matrix. Because if you're already figuring out a full integration layer, how do they do it in surrogate? Like, if you're doing a full integration layer, you might as well do it, like, Sword Art Online, Matrix, etc. You live in a jar and control robot. Yeah. I mean, if anything, the full integration layer is going to be... Oop. That one's busted. Uh. Ooh. All right, that film is scratched. Now we're covering that guy. Um for dangerous work, etc. Uh like underwater welding, uh you know, uh, construction dangerous areas bomb cleaning if you get a like ultra low latency you know microwave links or something then it would make a lot of sense from a commercial standpoint to 
work on this technology because you know if, if the latency is low enough then why not and actually if you think about it that might be that might actually allow for faster reaction times than a human because so it's what what is the millisecond latency like between me clicking what is the latency from brain down all the way along to here to the click i don't remember honestly but it's fairly large right like does it does anybody know or can look up what the latency is A hundred milliseconds of latency. Holy crap. Okay. So. Jesus, really? So if I'm sitting over here neuralinked, I have 20 milliseconds ping to the majority of, of the US, right? Just on my computer right now, I can ping a place in California and it comes out to about 20 milliseconds. So... If I had a brain control interface going right now, and there was a copy of me sitting in California right now, and they were doing some thing, who cares? Who cares what? And it was a robot. Well, not a robot, but a, a machine interface over there. I could think about doing something from here and have the machine reacting to it across 3,600 miles away. That's how wide the U.S. is, right? Is it 3,600 or 5,600? I think it's 3,600. Regards, I'm going to go with 3,600 miles anyway. I could have a machine start moving 80 milliseconds faster than my finger does. It would, like shit, combat, uh, anything, anything that requires a high reaction time is actually going to better suit you to be in a brain control interface and use a remote device. Cause it's gonna be faster. It's gonna be faster, it's gonna be a lot stronger, it's gonna be a lot more accurate. You're going to have additional senses. You could flip over to ultraviolet, you could flip over to wideband infrared. You could use LiDAR as long as it had a translation layer to reach yon eyeballs, which we do because we can see that shit on the screens. There's no good, oh, well I slagged this one too, wow. Okay, hope I have enough films. Of course you What high school did you go to? Jesus Christ. Supervillain High or something, Louie? All I know is my high school sucked in comparison to his high school. The only remotely interesting thing we did at my school is we had a solar car race, which in theory is pretty cool, and the local race I whooped everybody in because I built like a super sleek with a low acceleration but high top end car. It was fantastic. Uh, but then we went to the regionals and um, 
it was cloudy, so instead of racing outside, we raced in a gymnasium, and they gave everybody a double-A battery pack and told them to hook that into their car in place of the solar panel. Now, anybody that's screwed around with solar knows that solar has relatively low amperage, which means that uh, your top end is going to suffer a bit on these solar cars with solar. And if you build a car that takes advantage of a gear ratio so that you can actually get up to a good top end because you will have the the slow start um then everything is great but then if they go here's a double a battery pack folks now all of your cars have received like a times seven nitro boost yeah didn't do well because the other cars were all optimized for battery power for some reason. Were they told something that I wasn't? So it's funny, I say didn't do well. I came in third every race, but for whatever reason, the race coordinators decided that only the top two cars from each bout made it ahead, I guess, because they were like, eh, we don't want to be here very long. So despite coming in third, I was eliminated my third race because, you know, coming in third means you lose. Since literally never. Like, I get it. I didn't win. But consistently third, at least, and instead just get kicked out. And that was far drive to show up and just immediately lose because the bouts were best top two and it was not solar i would have much preferred to just go home and w yes i am still salty about this oh congratulations you've received 100 messages yeah it like i was very consistent i was doing consistently well but third doesn't count i guess exactly so, yes, this was in 8th grade. This was a long-ass time ago. Like, at minimum over a decade, I can't be arsed to figure out how much longer. And I am still damn salty about it. Also because, you know, not using solar power. Like, seriously? It is a solar car race. Why do we not have a rain day? Oh, because it took too much to set up, blah, blah. Solar car, not battery car. If you'd given me a stack of batteries, I would have whipped their ass with the on the design phase. Because most of these kids' cars were terrible design. I'm not even going to, like, I'm not sugarcoating it. They didn't know what they were doing. They just used ha-ha cargo fast. And on battery power, yes. Haha, ha, car do go fast. Which is annoying. Because on solar, haha, ha, car don't go fast. Haha, ha, car gets ass beat. Like, straight up on my first... First bout, I honestly thought I was going to lose the local one. Because my car was stuck on the guide rail, the back pole was lifted up, up enough that the rear wheels were just spinning. The other cars were about a 20% of the way down the track. You weren't allowed to touch your car once they said go. So they were about 20% of the way down the track before my car finally vibrated onto it. But thankfully due to momentum, it had gotten the wheels spinning hella fast. So it just, dude, boom. And Honestly, watching them, because they'd been, like, cheering. Like, yeah, we're going to... The, they kind of like, ha ah, As this car in the back just... Just ripped past theirs. I have, I probably had a 20% lead on their cars by the time I hit the finish line. It was so much faster just because of the torque setup. And... Then, again, batteries. <sighs> See, batteries are just the problem for everything.
I'm probably gonna have to take all of these out to actually do the board, but whatever. Nice. Oh, that's gonna be really nice and quiet, especially with the fish foam. Yeah, I'm not gonna put those points down because points down would just be disappointing. <laughs> All right, and with those in, uh, y'all are gonna have to give me like two or three minutes because I'm gonna run downstairs for un momento. Back in a flash. We back, and I got a homemade cinnamon roll. And I've been proven to keep my throat from dying. Hmm. Oh. Hey, look, another film switch. <laughs> Yay. Now you can have crumbs in your keyboard. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Can't move. Sorry about the delay. This is delicious. Mm hmm. Okay. Apparently one of the plugins on the Minecraft server is losing its mind. Uh, 
I'm wondering if there's an update for it or something that I need to do. Oh, well, if there is, then I will do it. And if there's not, um... If there's not, I'll bug the developer. That's what'll happen. Or I'll just be a, a very sad person and have to remove the plugin if it loses its mind too much. Which is unfortunate because I really wanted that plugin to be a thing. Oh my god, get in. So I've realized uh, I will modify the Be Right Back screen so that music plays through it because at least give you all something to listen to when I'm running downstairs as opposed to just basking in the silence and of your own thoughts. I think this is actually, this is the first time that I've actually listened to this music. So, that's good. Not bad. Not bad at all. There's a bunch of it. Uh, 136 songs, 5 hours and 33 minutes of EDM. So, very little repeats. Just got it on shuffle. And just release him. I don't know why I said him. Uh, it's it's part of a switch. It's not a him. No idea why that reminded me of this, but uh, last night I was watching some more of those uh, videos of the, the dude slash couple dudes who hang out in ghillie suits and pretend to be bushes and stuff and just scare the bejesus out of passerbys. Some of them are definitely funnier than others, but some of those are really good. Definitely something that. I, uh, would find amusement in doing at some point in the future. But definitely have to do the, the multiple person ghillie suit ones because they get way better reactions because you see the first guy and they, like, freak out and then they're starting to calm down the second dude pops out. And nobody's ever expecting the second dude. Especially when it's like, how about the dead wolf at the zoo one? I have not seen that one. Hmm. These cinnamon buns are so good. Mom made them from scratch yesterday. Can't wait to get this keyboard built. It's gonna be so nice. Oh, heavy. Doubles as a personal defense weapon. Halfway done opening, but what is blinking on my phone? I keep seeing the notification light go off and I'm like, stop.
Stop blinking at me. It's just out of the corner of my eye enough that it's annoying. And yes, I could have just turned the phone over. Oops. This little switch opener. Ooh, excuse me. Fantastic little device. <laughs> I don't remember where I got it or what brand it is, but it's just, you know, your standard little cherry opener and then box opener. Just magnetically clips together, little keychain mount, cute little device. Works super well, aluminum. I know I could have printed one, but Uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> yep. Yep. And don't forget, the second one was box opener. I had to look way too long and hard to see that there was not a switch there because I, I was very, very lost. Amusingly, I actually should have just looked at the screen because it was way easier to tell where the switch was on screen than just because of the high angle versus... been drinking water because they should be drinking water oh god I deserve that So, one of the two people that showed up to the Minecraft thing was actually somebody that I'd met at a former job of mine when I was a tour guide. And I guess, for whatever reason, we were talking about Minecraft, probably because we were stuck behind a slow trip or something, and when years drinking the capsule juice. Ugh. Oh god, no. Even though you undoubtedly do drink the capsule juice. Um. Yeah, so I guess that, that's somebody meet people in weird ways. That, that was... God, that was a while ago. Jesus. My, how time flies when you don't know what's going on. Eh, 
Eh, come on, there we go. I like that I, instead of spreading it out, I'm just making the pile of switch tops, drinking the blood of your enemies. I mean, if that's what you want to call protein shakes, sure. Your enemy is health. <laughs> I can think of better places to get protein. Yeah. Why, but the two keyboard streams I've done so far always seem to by far be like the the most popular in terms of stuff uh, there's only just this little just this little pile left uh, of the stuff I work on they seem to be the most pop or stream the most popular I guess keyboard fans are just fanatics or something If I can do this even faster than normal. Doing both sets at once. I really hope the Restream app stays alive for, well, at least as long as I'm doing things. Because the only reason I was saying this is because I briefly thought I saw a red thing blink up indicating bad times or something. I'm sorry if I'm going to try and angle this so that it's not like directly at the light. Those are not looped yet. Uh, Cause this thing is like 13 bucks a month and boy, is it worth it. Just cause we've already got somebody watching on YouTube. Hello, YouTuber. Everybody else is viewing on Twitch, but chat's linked for both. So that ever. yet gotta remember to keep myself pulled forward and also like not just hardcore slouch because my shoulders are Ugh. oh there we go a little bit poppy and crunchy oh god wow i can move my shoulder again that's nice No, come back and stay there. Wait, did I, oh. did I lose those? I can't tell. I lose one at least. Oh. Well, that explains who the YouTube person is.
Hmm. Maybe I've been forgetting to do this properly? I'm not that tired, I swear. Or maybe I am, I don't know. I was being like really properly uh, aligned with everything and then I seem to have... I think that... Yeah, okay, those sides should... Do so I need... It is, it's hard to tell which ones are lubed and which ones are not lubed, honestly. I do kind of wish that I had my camera able to be brought further forward so that it could be looking kind of more straight down at what's going on as opposed to uh, more hair. As opposed to kind of behind because when I'm leaning in like this, I know I'm kind of blocking it with my big head. But, uh... Unfortunately, I have plaster and lathe walls, so the only place that the camera is able to be connected to, I have it on a road boom arm, and the camera is, or the arm is attached to the door frame of my closet door, which is unfortunately like two feet behind me, so I kind of have a, a maximum Maximum range unless I'm bringing the camera all the way over Swinging it more and bringing it down kind of in from the side. I might try that at some point, but that some point is not today All right I need more of the lube tube. Mark. Because we were starting to run low on the lubrication. Oh, maybe. Well, at least I'm not leaning in as much. I need those higher. I need something for my... I need something to rest my arms on. There we go. All right, well, that brings me, like, <clears throat> two inches closer or something. The music, it has ceased. Damn, and long enough of a fade, man? Get in closer all the time. I've only been at this for a bit over two and a half hours, which really isn't bad, actually. So much hair. Why? 
It's not even like hair, it's just little fuzzies. Oh boy. Stop that. Ugh. Get in the hole. Those are done. I wonder if I'm actually over lubing, like if you're only supposed to lube just the housings or just the stems or something and I'm just going absolute overkill. But they feel pretty nice, so... I guess overkill is underrated. Alternatively, there's no such thing as overkill, only uh, open fire and I need to reload or something like that. All right, now do the front and backs of the stems. This will have been, once these are assembled, a, that's 90 so far. So I'll just need to do 21 more. Nice. Doing the uh, attempt to see the slightly different gleams of lube as to whether or not. Hey, Fun Cube, thanks for tuning in. Oh, is the hand? It does the hands. Ugh. Glad to see you were able to make it. You've missed some uh, rants about transhumanism and implants and just general tomfoolery, but there's more to come because I'm still lubing switches. Got another batch of 21 to do after this. Because we have... Yeah, let me get this in place, and then I will show you. I can show you the world. Damn it, I said get in place. These are silent alpacas. So they're... Duh. JWK... Why don't I just use this arm? Uh, come on, focus. They're JWK Silence, and they are going in these lovely plate files. 
provided or plates provided by prototypist yeah i did get them and they are super nice So I'm using the Deskies Films, Crytox 205G0, and TX 60 gram springs, which have been lubed with Crytox 105. And I'm loving how they feel in these carbon fiber boards. Because don't get me wrong, the brass boards do look beautiful, absolutely fantastically beautiful in the 111. But I'm all about that quiet life except when I'm talking. So I'm going for CF because apparently it has a delicious sound profile. Though so sound profile is going to be meh. Interesting as I'm uh, using silent switches. And just gotta wait for that fish boom. What board are you using? I don't remember. This will be informative too. I have a CF plate under my desk and never put use due to lack of looped switches. And lack of want to dis that's a mood. You're soldered, right? Talk to the shady guy in the trench coat. <laughs> oh, nice. You are Mill Max. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be uh, bringing my soldering station up here. Hopefully next week when the fish foam arrives. If it shows up next week. And uh, I'll be Mill Maxing my boards for the stream because a build stream where I'm just popping in switches into a hot swap board would be kind of a little bit disappointing. I may do one of the boards uh, so that the build stream isn't as long. Though with the SIM card tool that that uh, was it me that came up with that? Uh, yes, I believe Histia Sites sent the foam today. I'll double check. Because he said it was going out. That the white one was going out to fish today. Would have gone out yesterday, but well, everything was closed because I don't know, there's this weird pagan holiday or something happening. Yep, yeah, so hopefully that goes out and. You know, kind of hoping he used, like, two-day shipping or something as opposed to ground, um, for purely selfish reasons. But, you know, whatever, however it goes, I'll wait, I'll get the fish foam, it'll be exciting. Maybe if I'm really lucky, I can... ...ask fish with, like, really sweetly if he'll, uh put my like Archangel logo on the case foam. I mean, otherwise I'm pretty sure I'm going to get another arch potato foam. And for this one, I would really like my logo. Uh, but you know, I'll, when it shows up, I'm going to be very excitedly installing. Yeah! That was not an exaggeration. This thing is literally so heavy. Yeah, I know. Post the service. Cobalt over here. I was talking about this earlier. He had... He's in New Hampshire. He ordered a package from... No. Potato is not my logo. I, I like potato, but... Um, 
my logo means a lot to me. Um, but yeah, so Cobalt over here, he ordered a package from a New Hampshire shop. He's in New Hampshire. Normally, that's like a one-day trip, basically. <clears throat> it was not far away. It finally showed up from Little Rock, Arkansas, where the Postal Service had, for some reason, decided to ship it to. For reasons uh, that I got, I got nothing. He got nothing either. We generally are like. Mm. Become one with the potet. I mean, I am Irish, so I kind of already am one with the potet. Let's see how many of these films I slag up this time. Good, good pronunciation. Put that. Uh huh. Put that. Concord, New Hampshire, to Albany, New York, to Springfield, Mass, to Little Rock, Arkansas, to Manchester, New Hampshire, to his house. It was an adventure. And also his reactions to each time it updated in the group chat got like continually funnier and funnier to the rest of us because he's like, why the hell is it in Arkansas? Third. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I definitely feel you on the priority mail thing because I had a uh, package of leave parts that uh, was priority mail today and they took nine days to show up. And I wasn't like super annoyed because I had other stuff I was working on too. But at the same time, you're just like, damn, yo. Like, I get it. The Postal Service is massively macked up right now. Like, I can't, I can't actually fault them. But at the same time, like, damn, yo. Like, I guess I can't fault them for taking that long because I know what's going on with that, but Postmaster, yeah. But at the same time, if you physically are incapable of fulfilling two-day mail, etc., remove it from your ability to sell the pack, like the... Uh, to remove the ability to purchase the labels. Temporarily. Ain't no hair. I really wish these things had a little bit of adhesive on it. I said it before and I'm saying it again. Just the slightest bit of tack, not even adhesive, just tackiness. Because just a hint of tack would really keep these Locked in place would make assembling them so much easier. They need like static, almost. Not even tack, just static. 
So the question is... Um... Yeah, you know what? Treat yourself to a Christmas present of not working with morons. Everybody do a little bit of a stretch. Nothing. If the contract ends in five days, literally nothing. Give yourself a Christmas break. And don't forget to hydrate. Hey, you know what's really handy? Putting the stems on. <laughs> oh my god. Just... <laughs> oh my god. Hello everyone, I'm Arsoth and I'm an idiot! Hydro homies. That reminds me, I've been like sitting with one leg like kind of tucked up under me because it was a bit more comfortable than how I'd been sitting before. But that's a terrible posture. And just makes you slouch. Good God. Thought that seemed a little bit wrong. And hard to grab. your trip back home fun box I've got Norwegian chocolate ooh fancy what's that Norwegian spice that you're talking about the it's not all spice and I can't remember the name enough to even attempt to pronounce it. I have snapped through most of it. That's really the best way to spend time with extended family, isn't it? But now I'm home and wrecking my brain about work art. Piffy... Is it Piffy Kreider? I'm sure I, like, bungled that one massively. I still want to try some of that stuff. Just call out from work tonight. Yeah, I know, I ruined it. I don't know how to pronounce stuff. 
I can barely do English, okay? How would you phonetically pronounce whatever that stuff is? These bitches are so nice. this one yarp hmm something tells me that doesn't look quite right when you assemble the switch so poorly that you just like can't oh my god this film working. Not that bungled yet. There we go. Pifi al crudir. Fifi al Crudir. Yeah, I'm not surprised. That's. Closer's better. Something that I find interesting that I only kind of just thought about, despite having taken language classes in the past, is that despite having languages that use predominantly the same alphabet, maybe with some accents or something, the pronunciation and how letters go together is drastically different among many languages that share the same alphabet. And it's interesting because you'd think that it would... If the alphabet was used initially, you'd think that it would at least be like the orders of the letters would be different and the words would be different because it'd be a different language, but you'd think that like like, uh, you know, Kreider, which is what I would read that as. English isn't, yeah, but it's every language that does it too. It's every language that has the Latin alphabet all pronounce the stuff differently. Like, I don't know, that's... Hmm. 
Fantastic. I can't wait to see them. Maybe it's the Latin alphabet that's bad. I've heard that about that area. And then there's, what is it, Norway and, I think it's Norway and what other country is it where it's almost the same language? Like, it's enough, it's same enough that y'all can understand each other, but at the same time, it's not. Maybe, is it Norway and Sweden? You would, you would know far better than I if that was the case, that's for sure. One of them. Maybe Denmark? I feel like it wasn't Sweden. It's easier to understand Swedish than Danish, but it couldn't be done. Oh, well, okay. I mean, it's kind of similar with, uh, like, Germanic? Or no, with... Is it Germanic? I can't... There's one... I think it... One language I can, like... There's a few languages that are very much not English that with a hint of context, I can kind of read because I'm like, oh, that's pretty clearly a variation on this word after X amount of time because we're based on the same, like, well, base language, which is interesting because, well, of course, because all the languages that I want to know are not Ew. Ew. Fix that. Uh, the languages that I want to know are not ones that are based on the same root language as English so of course I don't get to use languages that I kind of know by default I have to try and learn like weird other languages but there there are some languages that I'm like oh yeah I can just read that without a major issue, which I find interesting. Hmm. Pop that one part further, actually. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep. But it's funny because I think I may be German or actually. Actually. No, I think the one that I was able to read was somebody. Or no. Okay. Yeah, it was. Uh, where's Belgium again? Is. Belgium. I, I, here's how bad I am at geography. I'm attempting to remember if Belgium is a. Belgium is a country itself, right? I are the bads at geography. But, uh, because there was somebody from Belgium that had posted a weather report. To my credit, there's a lot of small countries in that area. <laughs> or not, like, small, but... Okay, compared to the U.S., small. 
nobody can even argue that one. Um, a lot of countries in that it, it is a very country dense zone to the point that I can like, if you told me to point to Belgium on a map, I can get to the right area without an issue because I'm just like, it's this zone of like conglomerate of countries. But eh, that one's slagged. But yeah, somebody from Belgium had posted a weather report, and I was like, oh wait, I actually understand what this weather report is saying. Like it took me there was uh two things that I did not get and had to ask what it was. And they're like, oh, that's this. And it, once they said it, it made... I was like, oh, okay, I can see how that's... How that is that, but... Oh, I smell good food. Damn it. So many of these, I keep messing up. It's always just the one, one leg too, which is really annoying. It's not even like I'm messing up large scale, I'm just minorly messing up. And honestly, like you would never know using it that it was messed up like that. But I know. And with how much this board costs, it would annoy me to no end to know that I had something messed up like that. And it's not even like just going slower would make it go any better because when I go slower I've actually noticed that they mess up more in general because slow and steady just ruin stuff apparently so like I can't go slower to fix it and I can't go faster to fix it so I guess I just have to do it multiple times ah they sit in the plates so nicely J over at Prototypist did such a nice job with these boards. And that custom layout. Mm. Like, they just improve error correction. I don't know how to improve my error correction. Again, if they were sticky, I wouldn't be having these problems. Getting so close to being done. Is that one fine? Eh, that one could use a small adjust. Literally just that much of an adjust. It was just folded in on itself. At least that was an easy fix. Haha, <laughs> easy katka. Ooh. Oh my. <laughs> that one like looks fine initially until you actually look at what's going on inside of it and see that the film is like folded up inside of the switch in a way that uh... Yow. That's not supposed to do that. better. Much better.
Pretty resilient film. I didn't know it could stretch that far without snapping. So that's nice. I suppose that's the one advantage to doing switches one at a time. Uh, it gives you the opportunity to ensure that it's set before you actually fully assemble it. But... <sighs> I guess it's fine. We are definitely making progress. Only 21 switches to go. <clears throat> wow. Things that are, uh... Massively... Got yeeted. No, 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 don't quite lock yet. I want adjustment range for my film. Now you lock down. Good. Good. You can tell the this uh, PC or not PCB. The plate is cut so properly that the slightest misalignment in the switch will cause it to not go into the plate, which is actually rather impressive. Hey, nice. That reminds me, I need to print a headphone mount because I've just been leaving these headphones on my desk. These are expensive headphones. Just have them hanging somewhere nice. Especially because the uh, headphone mount I want to do, I want to put a switch in the mount so that when I take the headphones and hang them on the mount, it turns on my speakers, and when I take them off the mount, I want them to automatically power down my amplifier so that I don't have to worry about remembering to turn on and off that thing, because I have had a couple streams where I accidentally just dumbed and had audio playing over my speakers. Wasn't super audible, thankfully, because of this wonderful microphone setup, but... I, I snipped the power light out of my amplifier because the power light uh, was one of those horrific super blue LEDs that make you, like, it was bad. Command hook it to the side of your desk or the wall. I'm probably going to have it hanging off over by my uh, sound equipment. Just have it in the nice place. But, uh, so, because I don't have the power LED, it's hard to tell when things are on or off, because apparently I am power signal dyslexic or something. Like, zero is off and line is on, I guess. Right. Yeah, I... What is the convention for that? Why is it like that specifically? Why is O off and line on? Should I be thinking of in binary? Zero and one? I suppose if I think of it in binary, it makes sense.
Actually, that might help me remember now. Because I've literally had nothing to remember that. It just does not work for me. But also I can make the cool headphone switch thing and uh, means that if my headphones are hanging, then it's all good. And if they're not hanging, then uh, I don't have speaker sound. That should be handy, honestly. Okay, the light is actually moving. I thought it went the other direction for some reason. <laughs> Every time I look up, the light in the background is at the same area. So I've been very confused for like a couple hours now and haven't bothered to actually stop and watch to make sure it's been moving. <laughs> because I are the specials. Yes. Let the mild disobedience flow through you. Turns out your boss is also big into keyboards and is actively on the stream. <laughs> That'd be impressive, since I'm pretty sure I literally know all six of you. Sorry, but also not sorry. <laughs> you know, I, I have low latency on, but I'm afraid of what high latency would be like if this is low latency, because it like... <clears throat> And actually, let's, let me see. I, <clears throat> I'm gonna do a quick uh, time walk. Oh, yes, stopwatch, reset. All right. And let's see how long until it takes for this to show up on stream. About nine and a half second delay. I guess that's not terrible, but yeah. Eh, Low-ish latency, I guess. But not, not fantastic either. Oh well. Yes, that was my alt typing. Which for some reason has like 130 followers despite streaming once in like October of last year and then never doing anything again and I don't... I don't know why the thing that I never used gets followers and the thing that I actively use... Like, it's getting like 15 followers a month just sitting there. I... Is me not streaming 
better than me stream. <laughs> Like, I'm not complaining about the rate, because, like, you know, I, I don't promote myself at all, anywhere. I don't upload stuff to YouTube, I don't, like, use my Twitter or anything. The fact that I get any followers because people are somehow finding this is astounding. But, uh... Somehow doing nothing is still gar garnishing more... Garnishing? Gathering? Resulting in doing nothing is somehow resulting in more followers than streaming three days a week uh, Attempting to put out good content. I Really need to I need to just take clips anytime people take clips or something of the streams I need to just like immediately put them on Twitter uh, Maybe Instagram too. I don't I don't think I have an Instagram account. Oh, oh. Instagram has to be done with your phone. I hate phones. But, like, I really should just, like, put the clips on Twitter. With tagging and stuff. I'm just so bad at that. I need a social media manager that's not me. I need someone that just does it for me. Like, I have... So many hundreds of gigabytes, even terabytes of footage saved, because all, all of my streams are recorded. Uh, disk space available, 18.7 terabytes. Disk full and approximately 2,440 hours, so I've, I've got a while. But, uh, like, everything's recorded. But, uh, I don't do anything with it. Is that 21? Let's see, do I have 21 here? Yup. Ugh. All right. Now it's time to lube this stuff. That's the last 21 switches. 21 switch salute. I just managed to forget that I put the tops back on the switches because I was sitting there and I was like, wait, where'd the other hundreds, like, hundred switches go? Uh... Wrong channel, bro. <laughs> like, I know what channel he's attempting to type in right now because I'm reading it on the other screen. Oh. Okay. It was on purpose. Though my whoa what was to the no caps fifty dollars three people thing. Did I? No, I didn't. 
Damn, I think I put nearly just the perfect amount of lube on in this cap too. Which is like, hey oh, fantastic balls. For some reason that I can't quite explain, it honestly just feels faster. Sorry, pulled out of camera again. Feels faster just go down the whole row rather than trying to do like the side to side. Ooh, look at me, I'm not fancy like. I'm so glad that I am nearly done with this because that is one less thing that I have to worry about. I'm just gonna make the build stream be like, you know, not eight hours long because uh, this has already been three and a half hours and like, yo, that was a fun build stream, but also, ah. Why was I looking at my microphone? My microphone's not a camera, also. Er, now my microphone's actually pointed at me. Did it matter? Not really. Did I loop those? Incapable of telling? Damn. Yes. Turns out I did. Had to get it at just the right angle to see the minor height differences between the wispy washies of lube. Something very interesting is, uh, yesterday, Christmas Day, it was 65 degrees outside and pouring rain and windy. Today, we got two inches of snow and it's completely freezing outside. Welcome to New England. Here is your swimming suit, umbrella, parka, and ice scraper. You'll need all of them in the trunk of your car. Sometimes on the same day. What is this? I don't know what that song was, but it needs to go away. I don't like mumble rap. I don't need mumble trap.
I am so excited to be finally doing these. I got them like a month or two ago, and I, or maybe a month. Yeah, probably a month ago. I could have done them, but you know, there's that whole thing called uh, I'm lazy as shit. And I don't really like to uh, do projects until I'm... I don't like to do a project that I can't finish, like, n basically in one shot. Dang. You'll need to... This, yeah. That is how much lube is left. That's not bad at all. I still smell really good food. I don't know what it is. <sighs> what am I looking for? Right. These. I'm looking for th these. It, it'll probably... It's probably not going to be a week unless unless stuff moves really quickly. I doubt I'll get it for Saturday, but one can hope. But at the at the outside, it'll be the beginning of 2021. Of course, with our luck, 2021 is just going to be 2020 with but with a uh, plus one to hit modifier. It's 2020, but now is a magic item made by an evil wizard. The that made me think something that amused me greatly is uh, y'all remember like two weeks ago, two three weeks ago, when like a I think it was Israeli general said that the U.S. and Israel and somebody else, I think, were in contact with, like, the Galactic Council or whatever. They're working on getting Earth ready to be integrated into it or something. Like, active duty general or whatever, not just some... Not some schmuck in the lower ranks, like... And the entire world went... Okay, ex-head of military intelligence. Okay. So they were active duty. But at the same time, the whole world went, huh, okay. And just moved on. Like, literally, we had aliens on our 2020 bingo cards as a joke, people. It was not supposed to be real. Oh, was that a, uh, let me guess, that is, oh. Wait, what is this? Load. Scratch 20 on Aliens official music video. It Was this in relation to... Um, uh, was that in relation to the Area 51 raid? God, that was... I, I'm almost disappointed that people didn't actively try and get in, that they all just kind of milled around like a bunch of idiots. I mean, we knew that's what was going to happen, 
but a small part of me is disappointed that the they can't stop us all folks didn't actually try because uh it would have raised the average intelligence by a fair amount There are achievements in Minecraft that I have no idea what what they are. Like uh, one of the one of the guys is hopping around and playing on the server, and he just got the achievement. Not today, thank you. What is that? Like, what is that achievement? What does it even do? What? Like, I haven't played in, like, five years, so... Oh, God. Film down! Film down! What? Why are you giving me so much trouble? Just... Jesus. Here, I'll move this over so that it's better to be seen. And of course, he's not responding in the server chat when I put a questioning face in there. I made a sound and uh, saw movement and startled myself. The movement I saw was my microphone bar bleep, popping up. Because I'm apparently like a slightly stupid cat. I know my dog's an idiot. She's been chewing at herself at one point so hard. She bit hard enough that she made herself bark at herself because she something injured her. Like that's a level of stupid that I'm just impressed at. Hydrate. I wonder. Oh. I like this music. What can I say? Gotta have your happy tunes. These tweezers are honestly fantastic for working with springs because they got that nice broad head design, really nice and flat. They're just some like hilariously cheap lab tweezers from some like one of those kits that I got when I was a kid. 
I think I have multiples of these, but for just like working on stuff in the shop and working on switches, they're just so fantastic because they just hold things properly. Apparently there is an issue with one of the plugins, which is weird because it works fine for me, so not even like a permissions thing, it should just Wings are a little broken. Don't know why, but they just aren't usable. Hmm. I will investigate that after the stream. Thankfully, uh, apparently I told him what permission he was missing, so I can fix that. That is an easy fix. In fact, that is an easy enough permission that, uh, just give me one moment while I attempt to figure out which one this is. Go over here, go to file manager, container, plugins, luck perms, YAML storage groups, member, no, 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 no. flip back here and try and do oh wow that was fast it automatically updated itself let's see so apparently the reason fly wasn't working for him oh it's freezing in there that blows uh, the reason it wasn't working for him is because I had admin bypass permissions and apparently the lands thing was like you can't fly in the wilderness He has already made it to the nether. Well, Wings at least worked in the nether, but now he can't return through the portal? Oh boy, he got himself stuck in the nether because the portal is apparently in a protected area or something. So I've, I've got to bail him out at some point soon. He's over there being productive. Meanwhile, I'm making a fusion reactor out of chick. Are you on the server too? Oh, okay, not at the moment. I was the confused, I will admit. I, I it was like, I didn't see you join. Four point twenty one giga clucks of energy. Uh, prob. 
probably just crash the server. Because I removed stack mob. <laughs> messed up there will you just stop that thank you because stack mob was cool in theory but it maybe i can make stack mob oh you know what that might work i'm gonna see if i can adjust the stack mob config to only stack passive because stacking enemies was just wonky and i didn't like it made it really hard to tell what you were fighting as well so, if I can make it just stack pass- oh wow, I completely fried that one. If I can make it only stack passives, then it'd work for farms and stuff. Eh, we're not big enough for it to matter. how close he was oh wait no that should don't work there might be a major problem with that I don't think it's so much crashed as more I think that the nether is attempting to generate portals in the spawn world. has to make a part of the link to it. Yeah. I don't think portal griefing is actually covered anywhere in any of my systems. Well, actually, apparently it is. Um, this is going to take a minor amount to it. Well, not a minor. This is going to take some definite work, but as Bug stated ever so wisely in betas, there are issues. Or more accurately said, there are plenty of problems in a beta. And boy, is that true. Especially when I'm doing a system as complex as this one. Hey. Alright, that's 21 switches assembled. I've still got to do the verification to make sure they aren't doing a stupid and then pop them in the plate. I can put that out of the way. Good, good. Movement smooth. I love being a beta tester because then I get to break stuff. Yes, you do, bug. Yes, you do. I'm just going to put the busted ones to the side initially and just put all the rest of them in because I'll just deal with it all at once.
Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Oh, there it's so so minimal the difference between able to lock and not able to lock. It's just this faint little, like, you can feel it just click against it. How did I end up with extras? <laughs> Getting the KFC console? No. Come on, sit pretty. Sounds like I'm talking to a dog. Come on, sit pretty, sit pretty. What, why? Oh my God, just sit flat. Why, why are we having this many issues here? There we go. It refuses to sit flat. It is completely bent to the point that I'm just putting a new one on. Whatever. Whatever. Have spare films will well, won't go anywhere actually, but and that is me being an idiot that is the full sp111 all switches installed in the plate and ready to go that's pretty damn 
dope, actually. And for some reason, I have two spare switches. Two, four, six, eight, ten. What? Okay, so I ordered 120. My layout in theory has 111. Somehow I ended up with two spares despite doing... Maybe I'm only using 109 switches? Which would be a... Uh, weird. I was pretty sure I was doing 111. I thought I counted that repeatedly. Especially since I'm doing a really normal layout. Um, but so somehow I ended up with, I guess, only 109 switches in use. Somehow. And then I have... So I guess I was given one switch extra? Cool. I guess. Feels really tight. Nah, I guess it's normal. So yeah, so I guess they gave you a uh, bonus switch for luck. And I'm just fixing these because, well... Might as well, right? I went this far, I'm gonna finish it, damn it. If it would, like, remotely cooperate with me, that is. Of course, I suppose if it was cooperating with me in the first place, we wouldn't have had these issues then, would we? Oh my god. Almost got this one actually in place properly. Yay! Those two. Bingo. Bungo. Dungo. So, that was a thing. Uh, apparently I need to, uh, go fix a bunch of stuff on the Minecraft server, and then in, like, not too long, gotta record a podcast, too. Because, uh, And bit by a groom must continue. So catch Saban and I tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern for our first introduction to Halo 2 on the Master Chief Collection. We have never played it before, neither of us. This is first run through of Halo ever. All of the games we're going through it in order of, uh, not order of release, but order of plot. I've never happened to play Halo 2. I've done all the others except for 5, but nobody talks about 5. Um, well, and Halo Wars and stuff like that. I haven't played those, whatever. Uh, so yes, yeah, so that's going to be tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern, Tuesday. Doing more Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, fighting the bird boss. Yes, chronological order for that. Uh, Thursday, who knows? And if we're really lucky next Saturday, I will be doing the full build of what you guys saw the plates for. And I'm pulling this out so that you can see it for anybody that hasn't seen it since I last did it. I'm only pulling out half of it because it's heavy. The SPS, screw it, I'll pull out the full. Org. The SP111 split keyboard. It is a eight and a half pound monstrosity full-size keyboard. It is absolutely beautiful. And I've been waiting for this thing for over a year and it is finally here. And that's what the plates are for. I'm replacing these brass plates with the carbon fiber because reasons. And uh, yeah, so if lucky, that'll be a build next Saturday. If not, it's almost definitely the Saturday after that because you know, shipping, etc. Yeah, so that'll be in a while. And uh, thanks everybody for watching. It was a great stream and I'm so glad so many people stopped by and talked. You all are awesome people. Uh, I'll catch most of you in Discord.
Have a good one, folks. Bye-bye.